Hello, amazing people. Compliments of the season to you guys. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year ahead. Thank you guys for doing this with me all through this year. I appreciate you a whole lot. Today, guys, is going to be a quick one. I'll show you how to make this beautiful six piece skirt working with what a velvet fabric yes guys so this is it guys and you know velvet like it can be a little bit you know tricky here and there working with but of course with a little bit of patience you can achieve what you want it's a stretchy fabric yes so um you know there's a part that is more stretchy than the other so the 60 by 16 length side is more stretchy why the one that is um along the yardage is what's lesser in stretch okay yeah so the thing here is that the more stretch one is the one you're going to fold um, for the circumference okay yes yeah, so why the lesser stretchy one goes for the length okay i hope you understand that yeah so that's it guys so i'm going to show you how to make a six pieces skirt with this now so having in mind that when you hear six pieces all you should have in mind is the panels six pieces equivalent to what six panels three panels for the front three panels for the back initially it's going to be four panels for the back because of the zipper space but by the time you attach your zipper it becomes three panels for the front three panels for the back now one thing you need to know again is that when you're cutting your six pieces it depends on your choice on how full you want the lowest part to be you can do 20 you can do 18 you can do 22 25 30 depending on your choice so what i'm trying to say is that each of this panel will be either of this length that i just mentioned so for me i'm going to be working with 20 so each of this six panel is going to be what 20 inches in width along the length of my desired length of the skirt that i'm working with i hope you understand that yes so i have 20 inches now when you're cutting out for this i'm going to cut out for the center front first and also the center back after that then i'll now cut out for the sides so for the center front now one thing you should know take note is that it is being cut on fold you can see this now it's going to be on fold okay so which means that my 20 inches that already cut out because it is on food what i have here now is what 10 inches okay yeah so on food for cutting for both the front and the back side of course the back is going to be slitted open because of the zipper space so the first thing i want to do now is taking note of that this is 10 inches right then i'm going to also take note of the length now this is um, a gown okay this is a gown so by the time i take off from um, the half length um, of it then the remaining one is what i have here so feel free to work with the length um, of your of your choice so and also i'll also advise is also good to add some extra inches about three inches there about to the desired length that you need because this is a stretchy fabric so that by the time you're done if there's any excesses you can always trim that out before you hem the lowest point okay so that's what i usually like to do here so having in mind now this is the length of um, the skirt part of this gown that i'm working with right yeah so and i have it on fold so what i will do now is to start imputing what my vertical uh, measurement okay yes guys and i'm also going to do that um by the time i take my tape from the top now i'll first of all um taking note of my full length already that i already have then i'm going to mark out the hip line so the starting point automatically is my waistline okay yeah the starting point is my waistline then the next is going to be what my hip line so my hip line i'm going to mark that at nine inches okay nine inches for my hip line then i would also take note of the new length as well the new length i'm marking that at 18 inches okay yeah so the waistline hip line and the new line that's all i need here so the next thing i'll do now is to impute the boss pan measurement the boss pan is the nipple to nipple distance so for this person i'm working with eight divided by two that is four then i'll add 0 0.5 inches that is 4.5 so you can see me marking 4.5 from the waist and on the hip but when i get to the new length i will take away 0 0.5 inches so instead of marking my 4.5 inches i'm marking out four inches there so you can see this now so i'm connecting my lines from my waist to my hip all the way to the knee length so from that knee length now i will now extend it to the edge 
okay of that um the lowest part there guys believe it or not we have just drafted out the center piece of our what our six pieces skirt so this is just the center foot for the front piece you can see i'm going ahead what to cut this out it's as easy as that guys that's it guys so here i have it now i'll use it to cut what the center piece now for the back so remember it's going to have a zipper space so i'm going ahead to place it well just take your time to arrange it so i just have a zipper space of about two inches there and i'm also going ahead to cut this out you can see this guys as easy as that guys so we're done with the center piece for the front and the back so the next thing now will be what to cut the sides so for the sides for both the front and the back they are actually the same thing okay yeah they're actually the same thing now here is the uh, the part you also need to take note and pay attention here so um remember i said the center piece is on full when we are cutting it right but when you're cutting the sides we are not making it on fold as you can see it is widely spread we have our 20 inches widely spread here and i doubled this because of the two sides front okay so you can see the way i'm placing my center front piece on it you can see i'm placing it in such a way that i have the edge aligning what with the edge of the lowest part okay and i'm going ahead what to trace out the shape yeah that's just what i'm doing right now so I'm going ahead to trace out the shape so you can see this now. So once I take this off now, you can see now for me to get the site now is for me to bring back that same center piece here and I'm now going to turn it the other way around. Okay, just take note of it. There's nothing difficult here at all. After placing to trace out the shape, then you will now place it what? the other way around so i'm just taking note of the hip line and the nail line just to make sure that it matches up okay so you can see what i'm doing now i am placing it in such a way that it's going to be overlapping now where are we taking note of the waistline the hip line and the nail line there just let it overlap by about 0 0.5 inches that is enough okay forget about the lowest part it's not important the only part you should concentrate on overlapping is the waist the hip and the nail you can see this now so once you have achieved that overlapping then you can now start taking the sides now starting from the waist the waist i'm working with is about 29 inches divided by four i have 7.25 so i'm going ahead to mark that down you can see making sure that my tape is on that um on fourth part of the center piece right so marking out that then i'm adding extra two inches of seam allowance there now coming to the hip now okay i'm also still placing my tape the hip is 40 divided by four that's 10 you see the way i'm placing my tape marking out that i'm also adding what extra two inches of allowance there okay then come to the new length okay so the new length i'm still going to put in what my um the hip measurement as well which is 10 then extra two inches of allowance so in this part now you just bring the idea of cutting your pencil skirt there so like i usually do i will now take go back in by 1.5 inches 1.5 inches or even two inches so just go ahead and trace this out okay so once you connect it from the waist to the hip all the way to that new line then you can now extend it now to the edge of the lowest part guys believe it or not we are done here is that simple guys that is how to you know make your six piece so what i'm doing i'm just adding extra um, inches of um, seam allowance okay so by the way this was actually not so necessary okay because I'm, I'm just i like to put my allowances i'll rather trim off excesses okay than run into issue but because this is a stretchy fabric there was actually no need of me even adding that extra seam um, of allowance but um it's also good i'll just trim out the excesses after all i have nothing to lose there okay yeah so what i'm doing now is just to take that side we have already cut out i'm just placing um another double um fold there so that i can cut out the other side for the back so like i said the sides of the front and the back they are the same right guys this is it we're done here so that is it guys so what i'm doing right now is just to notch notch um every part here i'm notching the hip line the new line i'm just bringing out every other pieces now and going back to notch it all because this is a stretchy fabric it can be a little bit you know tricky when you're working with okay so in order to um, avoid of that so just notch it so that when you're matching it up 
it will be very very easy i mean you just all you need to do is just to make sure that the notch points are matching up okay for both um you know every part the the hip and also the nail length okay so that's it guys you can see um this is our center piece so spreading is open this is our center piece here you can see how this look you can see the notch point there see this just makes everything easy and also of course um the side as well yeah so what we'll do now is just to go ahead and join this piece together guys drafting it is just it once you're done everything here is quite simple you can see the way i'm arranging it this is how it looks so you just once you have arranged it this way just go ahead and join each side size to the other and of course making sure that those notch points becomes a guide for you just join and also join the side that's it guys so once you're done doing this do the same thing for the back piece fix the zipper where you need to fix the zipper join the size hem the lowest point and guys your six pieces get is ready guys but as for me like i said it's going to be um a gown so i'm going to what um later attach this to the upper piece okay of my of my dress guys so guys that is this on how to make a six pieces skirt working what with a velvet fabric thank you so much guys who've come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on the next one bye